This is Clinton Cassis Rifle Team in Association Macklin's in Marbella. We're at the Public Workout Area in Leeds. With me, I have Luke Campbell, MBE. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah. Last time I saw you, you were doing a spot of modelling. Yes, that's right. GQ. GQ. What a magazine that is. Absolutely. There's uh, a few names in that as well, weren't there? So. Yeah, there was, yeah. Um, big fight for you. Um, where does it rank amongst your fights or hardest fights you've had against someone like Arginas Mendes, former world champion, Luke? Um, I, I would probably say this is definitely my toughest test up to date. Um, but it's a test that I've been working really hard for. And it's a, it's a good opportunity for me now to, to go in there and to, to show everybody what I'm capable of and what I can do. Since your defeat, you really haven't taken a backward step and you've probably done that on purpose, that you just you wanted to sort of move on with tougher opponents and you've yeah. gone from Sykes to, to Mendes um, and in, inevitably you're going to want that rematch with Mendes soon. Yeah, definitely I want that this year. You know, I need to, I need to put the record straight. Um, it wasn't... It, it was his best night, it was my worst night. I shouldn't have been in the ring that night, but you know, that's, that's an old record now. And um, you know, I want to look forward, push on. Everything, you know, you could say it was a blessing in disguise, really, because if that didn't happen, I might not have done the things I've done and think the way I think now. So, that being said, it could have been the best thing that ever happened to me. We'll soon see. Your relationship with uh, Jorge Rubio seems to be flourishing. Uh, is that the case from your side? Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just an awesome guy. He's, uh, he's as passionate as I am. Um, in boxing, you know, and it's good to see that in a coach. And you know, he, he gives me, he gives me 100 percent. I give him 100 percent. I learn from him. What else more can you ask for? You know, he's, he's a great guy. Um, you know, it's just nice to be around, anyhow. You're on a stack card, obviously, this weekend in Leeds. Um, obviously, everyone remembers Campbell versus Cole last year. Tommy Cole's moving up in weight now to fight um, Tyrone Nurse. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, I think it'll be a tough fight for uh, a tough fight for Tommy. Um, you know, Tyrone Ness is, is a good fight. He's awkward. He's massive for like welterweight. You know, but Tommy, Tommy's good though. You know, Tommy is. Don't underestimate Tommy's boxing ability. Tommy's got a good, good boxing ability. A very good jab. And you know, we all know he's got a heart of a lion. And um, you know, so you never know what's going to happen with Tommy Coyle. Yorks uh, does seem to be the talk of the town at the moment, and Kel Brook fights 10th of September uh, against Gennady Golovkin. Look, you've got to give the man credit for uh, for taking that fight two weeks up. Yeah, no, of course. We all know Kel's a monster welterweight, but Golovkin's a, a, a monster middleweight. Um, but I think it's Golovkin's toughest test. I think I think Kel Brook is the best of British. I really do. I, I, I really highly rate Kel and I think he's the best we've got in this country at the moment. And I think it'll be Golovkin's toughest test. Mm. But like I said, that's uh, at the O2 in, uh, in September. Yeah. But before that, like I said, there's a huge card on Josh Warren against Highland, yourself and Dave yeah. Allen, Dylan massive White. Card, right? massive card, Like 15 fights? 15 fights, yeah. It starts at 12 o'clock in the day, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> No, it don't. I think it starts about half four. I know, I was, I was pulling your leg. I know it didn't start at 12. <laughs> but, no, um, but everything gone well for this? Everything's gone as good as it good as it can go. I've worked hard, I've trained hard. You know, I've been over in Miami a long time for this and uh, sacrificing away from my family, my kids. Um, you know, so it's I, I put a lot into this. So, you know, it's with me, it's 100% or nothing. And I give 100%. I'm disciplined. I work hard. So we'll soon see what will happen on, on Saturday night. All right, Luke. Listen, we'll take so much of your time. Thanks so much to Eiffel TV. We'll see you at the press conference on Thursday. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank yeah, you, mate. Cheers, mate.